Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from the Meadowlands Racetrack here on Friday. It is September the 30th, 2016. Going to look at all the races on tonight's program. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections from racetracks around the world. And I mean it, around the world. <laughs> um, but uh, this Friday card is a very good one with this uh, low 15% takeout. Problem is, we might have some uh, very strong rains here in the New York, New Jersey area tomorrow. Uh, well, Friday... Friday and Saturday, so there's a good chance this race, uh, this card might get washed out, uh, we might have a rain out here, so if that happens, you know, this video means nothing, but if there's a card tomorrow, it means something, so uh, let's get on to it, starting off at race number one from the Meadowlands, which is main claim race, purse $15,000 for maidens, Phillies mayors, three-year-olds, and upwards, we have a field of eight horses traveling a mile and one-sixteenth on the turf course mile and one sixteenth and my top selection here they'll be running at the rail for the first time zero feet there's no rail out so they'll be running at the hedge as they say uh so keep that in mind and my top selection here i'm gonna go to the eight horse here number eight arch tiger with k-bar koa and the, and the saddle I'm gonna go eight seven two six eight seven two six number eight arch tiger six to one k-bar koa for jonathan shepherd let's last, last time out run at delaware park seven and a half furlongs on august 27th and maiden 20,000. this horse finished second by three lengths that day you know this horse was a little bit wide that day from the seven hole post position. Closed up a little bit towards the end, but need a little extra ground. I think this mile and a sixteenth distance will suit this horse. Start before came May the 8th at Laurel Park good, on a good turf course. Mile 16th and made in 25,000. Finished third by three lengths that day. The winner was a winner of her next start out, also Desert Princess. You know, this horse was just wide and really closed up very nicely. Um, you know, he's been dropping down after that. You know, he dropped down to Maiden 20 last time out. It was his first off the layoff last time out also. So I think that's the key. He should really win uh, second off the layoff today will be the key also. I think that's where he'll do well. It's his first start here at the Meadowlands. You know, I'm going to take my chance with this one. This, this horse has been running 13 times. Four seconds, three thirds. I think he is going to break his main tomorrow. Six to one. I love the price on this one. So to recap my bets for the opener from the Meadowlands here on this Friday night. Probably going to be a rainy Friday night. I'm going to go with the eight horse here. I'm going to do a super effect at eight, seven, two, six, eight, seven, two, six. So now let's get on to race number two from the Meadowlands. Second race is a claim race. Purse $18,000 for Philly Mayors, three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 11 horses traveling five furlongs on the turf course. You know, it's a very nice five furlong turf sprint. And my top selection here will go to the five horse. Number five, Isaiah Brown. Going to go 5926. 5926. Number five, Isaiah Brown. 72. Paco Lopez for Jamie Ness. Last time out, we're in a Pascal Downs. Five and a half furlongs on September 13th and claiming 7,500. Horse finished third by neck. He set the pace early on, but then got caught at the finish. You know, the closers really do well on, on um, what do you call that? On the. Um, the synthetic, they, they they do very well, so, you know, especially at Prescott, I, I believe, uh, I saw a stat earlier this year, I think, uh, through the first, like, six weeks of the meet, if you're on the lead early on in the race and set the lead until the, you know, you weren't winning because the uh, closers were doing well at Prescott, start before it came Prescott again, 7,500, uh, 7, uh, claimer race on August the 30th, going five and a half, horse finished third, uh, won that day by two and a quarter lengths, well, that, that was a lie that day also, what I just said, because he did win on the lead, but ideally, you don't want to be on the lead all throughout, speed does not prevail on synthetic tracks, and then at Delaware, five furlongs in the maiden 15, he won by nose, on the lead all throughout, easy victory, you know, they're going to be at the rail, they're going to be having a lot of, they're going to be at uh, zero feet on the rail, this horse is going to have a lot of speed, he he shows it in his past, I really like this horse's chance here at 7-2, to two. so to recap my bets race number 2 from the Meadowlands Racetrack, I'm going to go with the 5 horse here, I'm going to do a super effect of 5-9-2-6, 5-9-2-6, if you're playing the pick 6 or pick 5, maybe single that one, I think he has a strong chance, so now let's get on to race number 3 from the Big M. The third race is a claiming race per sixteen uh, purse of twenty thousand dollars. Looking at the wrong thing for a second. Uh, purse twenty thousand dollars for Phillies Mayors Thrills and upwards never won three races going for a claim price of sixteen thousand dollars. There we go. Field of twelve horses traveling a mile. One mile. And my top selection here will go to the four horse. Number four, Qualara. Gonna go four eight six 
seven four eight six seven number four Qualara nine to two Scott Volk trains us one. This horse is crossed entered for a race on September the thirtieth at uh, Laurel Park, so basically today also. So hopefully for that seventh race, if he doesn't run there, he'll run here. Hopefully, uh, I really like his chances in this spot. Uh, going for the he's in for the fourteen thousand claim price. But last time out, Monmouth Park, uh, September the third, mile sixteenth, and claiming twelve fifty. Second off the layoff, you know this horse won by at one and a half lengths in a field of eight horses. A little bit wide, but closed up incredibly to a very nice victory. Start before came up Monmouth, August 27th, mile 16th, claiming 18,000. First start since November the 9th at Aqueduct. He finished fifth by six lengths. You kind of expect it to be a bad tr uh, start. And he also had a bad trip. Got bumped, was wide at the top of the stretch, didn't close up very well at all. You know, almost weakening. Start before that came up Aqueduct, a mile eighth and on uh, November the 9th, claimed 25,000. Uh, non worth two lifetimes. Source finished third by three lengths that day. You know, from he broke from the three hole, was on the rail all throughout. You know, closed up a tiny, tiny bit, but it wasn't enough to win. Um, and then October the 8th at Belmont, one mile and claimed 25,000. Finished six by three lengths. As a favorite at three to one, just tired. Very disappointing run. He's making his Meadowlands debut tonight. He's, uh, so, uh, you know, I think he should run well here. You know, he's did well. He's coming down to the claiming race here for 16,000. You know, I'm going to take my chances with this one. You know, those New York races were very, very tough. Uh, third off the layoff. Let's hopefully make this horse two for two in his last three starts, or two for two in the last two starts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so to recount my bets for race number three from the big M, going to go with the four horse here. Going to put him into a super effect of four, eight, six, seven, four, eight, six, seven. So now let's get on to race number four. Fourth race is a claim race, purse $25,000 for three-year-olds and upwards. Uh, non words of two races since Oct August 31st, uh, allowed three pounds, or, you know, all that crap. We have a field of eight horses traveling five furlongs on the turf course at the Big M. And people ask me why I sh show this diagram. It gives me a second to look down at my notes, so bear with me. <laughs> and I had to look a little longer for this race anyway, because there's a good horse here, <laughs> and uh, my top selection here is a three horse, Joe Franklin. Gonna go three, five, six, eight, three, five, six, eight, number three, Joe Franklin, six to one. Last time out, ran at uh, Monmouth Park, five from September the 5th, and optional 20 claimer. He finished fifth by five lengths that day. He set the pace early on, and this ch just tired towards the end of the race. You know, this winner, Sterling Maximus, is running back to this one today. You know, it was a disappointing fifth place finish as a favorite, you know, I don't know if he liked the ground or something, it just wasn't his best of runs, start before going five and a half at Monmouth August 13th and My Frenchman, he finished seventh by eight and a quarter lengths that day, he was just, a, you know, had a horrible start, didn't go up with, with the leaders and just was a little bit outrun that day. And then off the turf, first start of the year, July 10th, five and a half rounds at the Wolf Hill Stakes. Horse finished fifth by 17 likes, had nothing. Uh, but if you go back to his races last year, they were very good. You know, ran an optional 50 claimer December the 4th at Laurel last year. He finished third by four and a half lengths. You know, had a bad trip, but, you know, he got off a third that day. Um, the start before, it was very surprising, a Brewers Cup turf sprint at Keeneland. You don't kind of expect that for David Jacobson, who trains this one. He finished 11th by six uh, and three quarter lengths that day. You know... The closest this, got, this horse got to lead was about three and a quarter lengths off of it, or three and a half lengths off the, off of it, basically a fifth early on in the race. After that, just weak and very overmatched. And then he won two in a row, one at Belmont, six furlongs on the turf, and one at Monmouth going five furlongs on the turf. You know, coming here today, I think this horse should have a really good run here. Six to one, going to take my chances. So to recap my bets for race number four, from the Meadowlands racetrack, going to go with the three horse, going to put him into a super effect up. Gonna go three five six eight three five six eight. So now let's get on to race number five. The fifth race, the featured on tonight's program, is an allowance optional claimer purse thirty thousand dollars for Phillies mayors, thrills, and upwards. Never won a race of the main claim starter or state bread or restrictor, which never won two races or a claim price of sixteen thousand. We have a field of eleven horses traveling a mile and one sixteenth on the turf course. Mile and one sixteenth. And my top selection here, we'll go to the outside. We're going to go to number nine, Caradura. Going to go nine, two, three, five, nine, two, three, five. 9 2 3 5 Number nine, Caradura, 3 to 1. Paco Lopez for Chad Brown sending this one in. Last time out, run on July 31st at Monmouth Park on the slop. Off the turf, a mile 16th and a main special weight for 43,000. Horse won by three lengths. A very easy victory. You know, a little bit wide, but when he got the lead, 
easy from there. Um, and then start before June the 19th at uh, Monmouth Park, mile 16th, main special weight for 34,000. Finished 6 by 5 and a quarter lengths. You know, just had nothing that day. Really didn't close up at all. It was his first career start, so you could give this horse a break. I think he should really like this Meadowlands turf course. He's at a war front here. Uh, Chad Brown sending this one in. You know, he gets Paco Lopez also, leading rider at the uh, past Monmouth meet. You know, I think this horse should really run well. Um, possible single in the pick six if you're playing it, or pick five, pick three, whatever the hell you're going to be playing, multi-race wager, you know, because I think he has, a, he, he's definitely the class of this uh, field. So to recap my bets for race number five here from the Meadowlands Racetrack, going to go with the nine horse here, Caradura, going to go nine, two, three, five, nine, two, three, five. So now let's get on to race number six, the final race in tonight's program. It's a claiming race, purse $20,000 for three-year-olds and upwards, going for a claiming price of $10,000, field of 11 horses, traveling 5 furlongs on the turf course. 5 eighths of a mile on the turf. And my top selection here will go to the 6 horse, number 6, who is super secret. Shh, it's a super secret. Gonna go uh, 6 10 Three two six ten three two number six super secret five to one. Um, last time out, run at Delaware Park about five furlongs on the turf course August twentieth and a claiming ten. Source finished third by two lengths that day. You know. Just didn't have the best of uh, trips that day. Closed up a tiny bit at the end, but just didn't have the best of trips. He gets the 10-pound, uh, the 7-pound apprentice bug here. He's carrying 110, while everybody else is carrying 119 or a little bit more than that, or 121, which I think is the key. I really like that. You know, he's been carrying a lot of weight the last few starts. Last start, he carried 115 pounds, carrying the 110 today, which I think is a key. Um, start before it came July 7th, actually, at Goldstream Park, five rungs and claiming 10,000. Horse finished second by head that day. He just, just missed. Closed up very well, but just, just missed the win behind It's Time to Laugh, who ran very well. And then at, um, Goldstream Park, five rungs, claiming 10,000 back in uh, June. The horse finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths, but got placed third through a dis uh, disqualification because the horse took up in the stretch bothered the horse, you kind of, watching the replay, you know why they took this horse down, it was, it was a, no doubt about it, kind of an objection, um, you know, this horse had to check, I think he could have got up to second, I don't think he would have won that day, but I think he would have got up to a better position, uh, to like second or third at least, uh, but you know, then this horse won a, his last win, you have to go to June the 1st, Goldstream Park, 5 round, claiming 12.50, won by half length, closed up very well, I'm gonna use this horse here, making his Meadowlands debut, so to recap my bets for race number 6 from the Meadowlands racetrack, I'm gonna go with the 6 horse gonna go 61032 610 32 so go back to all and follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid 5 good luck everybody